aside, uh, well, today I wanted to share with you some thoughts uh, inside some of our discussion from our Young Adults Bible Study, um, which we do on Zoom on Monday nights. And last night we were in Hebrews chapter 6, and in the ending of that chapter, uh, the, uh, the author is emphasizing the certainty of God's promise. So it says God promised, which is already an unbreakable thing. God's word is sure. He cannot break it. And I thought even beyond, it's beyond just the idea of someone who is good at keeping their word. There's someone you know, like you trust because they keep their word. But like, no, it's even more so than that. He's physically, he's by his character, incapable of not keeping his word. So we can be sure in his promise. But then he even doubles down, it says, so that uh, when he he desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things in which it's impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. So he doubles down, and there's two unchangeable things, and that just gives us this confidence and this sureness um, in God's promises and his unchangeable nature. And then in the last two verses, it reads, We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So, um, it talks about this anchor, and we loved that imagery of the anchor, and we talked about that for a while, of um, of an anchor then being tied to, you know, there's a chain that connects you to it, and you can kind of wonder as far as it will go in this, like, direction, but it always holds you there to bring you back, or... Um, and, uh, or I thought of, and that's in the inner place, right? The Holy of Holies in the presence of God. And I thought it's like the reverse of when they used to have to tie the rope and the bells to the high priest when he went in so that if, you know, he did something wrong and died, they could pull him out. But now it's like flipped around. Now Jesus or whatever's in there, the anchor holding the end of it. And we're on the other end and we can only run so far. And if the string gets taut, right, it'll jerk us back. Um, or Tommy shared, uh, reminded him of a Tom and Jerry episode where one of them has the other on a, on a string and kind of the same idea that he pulls him yanks him back or um and or pulls the string taut right and and stops you from going any further and so we love that image imagery of like being confident one in that unbreakable promise but also that that being our anchor and um, we could run against it right but you can't move the anchor like you could even get a running head start but you're gonna hit hit the wall so to speak and um, be stopped or um and and just knowing uh, this comes after the author of hebrews talks about you know someone who truly has seen and um been with the presence of god and you know tasted and seen there they cannot walk away or like you can't walk away and so on um, that idea of you know once we know we can be secure and sure in our salvation and that we will inherit the promises um that god has given to us so, um, I'm not telling you to go out there and run against your anchor. Um, you know, stay close to it. You don't want that string to get taut, but just know, you know, if you do, um, or if you grow weary or if you start to doubt, you can be sure in that promise and it'll, it'll pull you back in. Uh, so have a good one and we'll see you next time, Hillside.